Richard's a weird dude. He's always calling people and going, uh, like Gary said, and Jason said, like, like Richard will call up literally with the same question. How long can you keep, like, chicken that's been out on a counter for, like, a couple of days? Can you still eat it? Or how <laughs> I've had... out on the counter for a couple of days. Who knows? And then he goes, do you know, like, like we've had chicken in the refrigerator, you know, raw chicken for a, a week and a half. Is it still good? <laughs> How many times do you have to call the guys and ask them if, you know, if the chicken is bad after it's been out for four days. I mean, how many times do you... I, I like to get a second opinion if I'm a little worried about Yeah, but we, we tested your some. IQ. You can retain information. You know that the, the meat is bad. I mean, come <laughs> I on. Know, but, uh, you know what? Maybe it's from growing up. Like, we never wasted any part of any animal. We really eat, like, the head and everything. Yeah, but fish, why is this so... stuff laying around for so long in your house? Cook it up and, and eat it. Well, well, I'll lose stuff in the back of the fridge that's just, yeah. you know, I forgot about, and I'll find oh, it one day, and I'll be like, oh, I wonder if this is still good. Uh. Eggs from 1987. <laughs> hmm, wonder if that's still good. Where's Jason's number? <laughs> oh, one you know, time my, my parents sent me some sausage through the mail, like a deer sausage, and it got lost in the mail. It was gone for like three weeks, and mm. it finally showed up. And uh, and I ended. And then up you throw it out. It. That's the end of no. the story, right? <laughs> oh, I ate it. No, what I did took, you do? You ate it, and then you I shit your pants at work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, he doesn't even react to food poisoning anymore, except for shitting his pants. You know, he doesn't right. even get a stomach ache. He just shits. And his I pants. don't. Yeah, and I don't mind <laughs> shitting my pants once in a while. It doesn't <laughs> hurt. Uh. I no, like it. I don't even clean it up. I just like walking yeah. around like that. His Let body to my has asshole. given up telling him there's a problem. Jason, how long can pants. you leave shit in your pants? <laughs> oh, there's been times where I didn't know I did. And at the end of the day, I'll look at it and I'm like, uh-oh. The hell well, how is you, that in there for? <laughs> how, how do you not know you shit your pants? You have to feel something, dude. I mean, seriously. Yeah, I mean, how do you, you just think it's a fart. And then you realize it, like the time we did the diaper contest, I had no idea that I had had that accident. I farted into the microphone and then we came into the studio and I, you know, looked in my diaper to weigh it. And I was like, uh oh, oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit in my pants. One last trip to the bathroom. My parents mm. literally said I was potty trained by shitting in the yard. Like that's how... I learned to uh, use the toilet was by pooping out in our yard when I was a little kid. How does that teach you to use the toilet? I mean, you're shitting outdoors on the, well, on the ground. Well, because I'd walk around naked without a diaper, and that's how I learned to, like, poop without a diaper. Oh, like a dog. Yeah. In other words, you, you yeah. can, you're allowed to shit outside, just don't do it in the house. That's right. Exactly. Yeah. I would go out hey. in the front yard and do yeah. it, and the neighbor lady would call my parents. I'd shit by the mailbox. <laughs> Did you have, like, favorite spots you would go to to shit when you were a kid? We had a sandbox, and my parents said oh. I used to go sometimes in the sandbox <laughs> like a cat. I'd make I duty sandcastles. <laughs>